All right, it's time to use the boy Light Escanor with the new UR Festival Gother. So go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. I know a couple of y'all asked for this specifically. I think he should have got his relic before Mael, but it is what it is. So we will put Mael link on him because I bro is awful with crits for me. So I, I'm I'm good on Sario. Plus, I want green Sario because we need debuffs for Merlin so we can get some damage reduction. Here's the uh, the artifact card set. This is the sense card set that gives us uh, basic stats, so it'll help us live. We're gonna be using. We need another race character other than like unknown and human, so we're gonna go with Green Valentine's DN. She gives us basic stats, and that'll help us perform and and live better. So let's hop into our first match and let's see if we can catch some bodies with this Escanor in 2024. All right, so our CC is about 316, so I think we can go ahead and just. Holy Flame, increase the hero's damage dealt by 15% after using a skill up to four times. I think I might just try to go after this Escanor because he can buff strip us. So let's go ahead and stance, uh, drain. We don't got no defense down, so it really don't matter what order we do this in. Uh, how about we stance, drain, and then we poke. And plus the drain will bait out dodge food, dodge, dodge food. <laughs> and we can try to do some decent damage with uh, Escanor. Um, okay, that was okay, go, go through, look at, look at you go. So. Escanor increases damage dealt by 15% after using the skill. Uh, all the hero's stats do not drop below their value at the start of the battle. When taking fatal damage, the hero's attack-related stats increase by 30%. And then Holy Flame increases all stats by 4% for each uh, passing turn for 5 turns. That's what that is. Okay, for 5 turns. So we got 5 turns. Let's see, I see. So the beautiful thing, even if Gother dies... We can just save these uh, crazy prominence for if we do get cooked and he has like his extra lives. So with this debuff on Arthur, I always won't mean much. So I think I'll just, mm, what's the, oh, we killed Escanor, oh, W. So I think we'll just go for bro. We got type advantage, why not? Let's do this and then Escanor can cook, I guess. Hopefully we get a nice natural merge of his level three crazy prominence and then we'll be on our way. So a single target seems to be like one of the like better, better skills, better damaging aging skills in the game because it has freaking dot damage on it. Uh, 1.3 additional damage for every percent of remaining HP on himself. Additional damage equals to 30% of final damage to all enemies in battle, which is crazy paired with like uh, Roxia Madness, uh, so but she not here today we running on we running sins sins are cooking so let's get this basic stat increase and we might be on our way all right what are we gonna do did he get ultimate with uh anybody he did and he has a oh wait he's tall he's black no yeah he's blockaded so we're fine so let's stance up with yen and then we can go ahead and go crazy go ahead and go crazy Cleanse those debuffs. So thank God, because you know, there's the only one cleansing debuffs. So he's the one building his passive. Melly does not uh, build his passive for him. He just like kind of gets in the way. Um, that I'm not loving the damage, but he's getting the job. He is increasing his damage though. So by the time we get his ultimate, bro, ultimate is is we're we're we're, we're cooked. I mean, now we're cooked. They're cooked because you know we won, essentially. So. W AOE damage, W basic stats. No, no, I mean L AOE damage because we got big basic stats. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stats real quick. So if we ult it, so he has three stacks of the damage dealt. So let's just do this. That. Oh shit, we can just get both their ults. Why not? Oh, right, and when Bond attacks a level two uh, DN stance, we just get gauge control. That AOE uh, debuff that Arthur applies on us pretty much means nothing because Escanor's ultimate is just like <sighs> stupid to this day. <laughs> it, it, it's 2024. Immolation at what? 6-6? Six, six. Uh, what is that? Inflicts damage equal to 750 of attack on all enemies and when the hero dies, remove... Well, he has one of those passive ultimates, right? When the hero dies, remove all effects, fully depletes ultimate move gauge. Applies four final flames. Survival from other unique abilities or skills does not apply when dying. So like, basically he just got five lives essentially. And then immolation is 1.2% damage. Hold on, let me, um, 
Should I rank up? I think I'll go ahead and rank up since I got double rank up. Let's do a level two again. And then we can possibly. I think we go for Demon King. I do that. Uh, immolation is 1.2 damage uh, for every percent of the heroes are many HP. And then 1.2 additional damage for every percent of heroes diminish HP. So when he's dying, bleeding on the table, he does crazy damage. When he's fully healthy, he does crazy damage. In the middle, it's 50-50. <laughs> uh, what do now? Yeah, we got another poke, so that's pretty good. We can just like possibly drain the end, pierce single target, and then Escanor, uh fire pokey pokey. I could just try to get his ultimate. I think about that. I right, think remove our stance and that'll give us a nice crit resist buff. Crit defense, I mean. Whew. Whew. Good lord. Oh. We still got the damage dealt from her relic, so I'm good. I think I might. Are we cooked? I think we're cooked no matter what. I should have probably just ranked up and let Escanor just like eat them alive with a level three crazy prominence, but. You know, you can like end it all, Escanor. Never mind. If it was a level two, I'd believe in it, but it's a level one. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I should have just ranked up and did a level three crazy prominence and go out with a, li a literal bang. Because when Escanor came out, I felt like I had my biggest issue with him is I never really got crazy prominence merges like that compared to like other people who used like Escanor, but now is probably the easiest time to get it, you know? <laughs> Not my Gother, no! What did my Gother do? Well, at least it's having an Earth buff is gone. We got Tarmiel Link. Uh, I think I'm still cooked. Alright, Escanor, now's your time, please, brother. <laughs> oh, W merge. Uh, he got a hella defense related. We might as well just go after bro. Kill Merlin, please. I really hope he do kill Merlin. Kill me in the process. Does he? W? What? Did he just reset my freaking menu? Mm. I have to get a level 3 merge here or he's, 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 I'm going to the next match. <sighs> I mean, we could just try. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Yeah. Alright, we're fighting the Demon King team with Gelda. Let's uh Who should we kill? Gelda, you gotta just kill the people around her specifically. So I think I'll just do Deanne normal. Boom. No, you know what? We gotta rank up Deanne. But we got an extra rank up boom bop and then pow. Hopefully we get a nice natural juicy merge from Escanor. Help us out, Deanne. Uh, I got a the that Deanne outfit is crazy. <laughs> Just the angle from it. <clears throat> so DK like not on Sins, I, I find to be much more squishier. But when you fight a Sins team, I think he's a little bit more difficult. All right, we got that rank up. Let's let's, let's do it. Let's go crazy. Should we do the level three into the? Yeah, I think we will. I think a hundred percent we will. Uh, he's gonna remove my stance, but we'll keep the damage dealt, so it really ain't the biggest deal. Uh, if anything with a level two DN, it, it's gonna help everybody help the, help us out by just like killing their gauge. Live, okay, cool. So let's try to kill bro. 
by any means necessary. Do this. Let's get to level three. And then we go into the level three. I think this should be enough. Because we got extra basic stats. And it's gonna it's gonna be level three. And he's on attack crit. I don't think I even mentioned or showed his uh gear, but he's uh, on attack crit damage. Gore Wador. W. No crit. That's why we got that 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 my own link on you, brother. Alright, Demon King, do your worst. Do your worst, brother. I like that level one behind that level two. I like that. I like that. I like it. Oh, I'm alive. How? Oh. Mm. You should have just. Oh, he must have got unlucky and didn't pull an AoE. How am I alive? AoE? That's the AoE. Oh, single target. Big. Very big. Hmm. Well, let's kill this bozo over here, right? Boom. Level three type advantage Pierce and then into a, a single target. Now, if he has an AOE, we might be able to get a level three Escanor. Like, AOE. Oh? Go there, my door. He did merge, but that's fine. <clears throat> Luckily, he didn't get no ultimate. I don't think he... Oh, yes. Kill Merlin. Ay, <laughs> caramba. Oh, you're doing nothing, brother. Thank you, Gothi. Your residual basic stat buff is, has, has immensely helped us out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No gauge for you. No gauge for all of you. All right, we are kind of low. I'll just do this. Get our ultimate and then get the level three crazy prominence. Uh, we can do this to get a little bit more debuffs so we can get some damage reduction next turn. But I think that's gonna we gotta try to kill Demon King. Crazy prominence. Yay! Hooray! We killed. Demon King, and now we get our ultimate because he's gonna single target ult with Gelda on Deanne and kill her. How long does these basic stats last for? God dang. This is easy one tap because she got type advantage, you know. Gelda scaled off HP. Oh, what? <laughs> Didn't expect that, brother. Are you? I'm curious. I had to be one six then. Yep, okay. So let's uh, stance up again, do this, and then. Oh, well, hold on. I don't think Eskinar can kill. Let's just dissolve and then do that. Eskinar, can you one bang a, a Gelda? I don't think he can. I know his ultimate is broke. Oh, his cut in is just so... I gotta do an April Fool's video too, man. Oh! Not many niggas can do that. <laughs> so let's do one more Eskinar uh, match and then we'll end the video. All right. Oh, we ran into the same guy again. I'm sorry, brother. We just got it. Yo, hopefully we get a sick merge. Well, that's not the sickest, but we can just do this, this, and that. I guess I could like technically just like waste my Escanor cards to uh, get his max stacks of damage dealt. But it's like hanging on to this. It's like you can never see this uh, this AOE again. You never know. That's that's what that's the only thing. Now you can just. Turn one, rank up Escanor, and just go for the the bango schmango like combo. But you know, I I I, I can't in good conscience do that. Well, technically, I can't. I could just do this and this and a level two stances. That's even better because you're gonna take it right now. We might as well put it back up. Oh, W infect. So then he does an AOE. He does a good amount of damage, and I'll stay at that damage, and he'll be technically low. So I guess the level three crazy prominence can like cook technically thanks to infect, but it's going to be removed. Let's stance up again. And then we can do this and then go through, have a level rank up, uh, a level two rank up so we can, um, cook possibly next turn, next turn. I'm slurring my words. I'm sorry, y'all. Crazy prominence. And kill Millie. Yay. Hooray. 
Huzzah. All right, now, if he just gets lucky and gets like, oh, we had all Demon King cards, brother. We are toast. And look, we didn't get any more S on our cards. See? Yoink. Are we alive? How am I alive? Escanor, how are you alive and not having final flames? I mean, if I had two AoEs, I feel like we could cook, but let's do that. Let us gonna cook. Hold on. Kill Merlin. He, he finna he finna get his get back. He getting his get back. I said this is gonna be the last one. Nah, yeah, it's gonna be the last one. It's fine. Nah. Hold on. Ultimate Escanor is pointless. You should have just killed Merlin. Well not pointless technically, but like you get what I mean. Mm. It's about sending a message. <laughs> it's about sending a message. I know I lose, but let's just do the pokey poke just to kill, bro. Go there, why do it? You got that, Skinner. There you go. You did your job. You killed Demon King. You did your 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 lore accurate job. So that's gonna do it. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. And Light Escanor is is runnable still. Uh, if you made it to the very end, go ahead and comment what you think his holy relic would be because I think he's pretty much due for one at this point. We might get one for like. That he, I think they're saving his for JP anniversary this year. So if he gets a relic, let me know down in the comment section below what you think his relic will be. Me personally, I think it's probably going to be something like um, he may increase his damage. Not his damage. Though. He might increase his like basic stats per like sends unit on the field or something like on, on your team, like in the front line, right? I think. It might be something along those lines. And also his CC might be pretty decent too. With HP defense, his CC right now is at 70,545. And with a relic, he could probably get up to 71, 72 KCC. So peace out. Y'all stay good. And I'll see y'all niggas in the next one.